Some very high scoring, Roger. It's been very high, and I, I guess Eric and uh, Mika Hakim must be extremely disappointed at this stage because they have bowled extremely well. In other years, they would have certainly made that cut. Yes. Uh, Eric Cock indeed by 77 pins missing out making it into the, the first match. Well here we go with uh, a fabulous champion. He's won this championship Nicomachino three times in three decades and here he is out to try and make it four. He looks incredibly exactly the same as he was when he was 19 years of age when he first won this championship. Horse Pang's opponent in this match is uh, from Canada, Jack Gay. And both players at the moment, not a lot between them. But this gentleman here has a credit list, unbelievable intent in bowling. A little high there, Bernard, but um, early stages, they're both at this time settling in. Always the, the, the hardest match, this the very first match, and just watch Pang's chat. Just as you said, Raj, comes in a little bit too high, and leaves three pins. But I'm sure the quality of player that, that Pang is, he should have no trouble in taking out these three. And indeed he does. As you said, Bernard, very, very little in at the minute. Uh, Jack trails just a little bit, um, but going into the fifth frame. He must be extremely pleased to be here this year because despite the 300 game last year, he just missed out on those um, step ladder positions. That's right, and of course, as we said in the opening few words there, that he managed yet again to roll a 300. This, he's the first person to roll a 300 in the Bowling World Cup in 30 years. And he comes back this year and he rolls another one. Quite extraordinary, but a, a tremendous competitor. And as, uh, you'll see as we go along here hopefully he can keep going on the strike line that looks good from here yes brilliant strong player a very very strong player indeed he's been very popular with uh, the big crowds that we've had here at planet bowling and what a venue this has been for the uh, amf bowling world cup let's just watch this ball make its way down turn into the pocket and look at that perfect good yeah. shot indeed Jack could do with this uh, next strike here. That would bring him back on target to be almost level with Nipper Machina. Interesting that he doesn't wear any of those hand gloves or any of those, just the, the elbow strap there for his tennis elbow, which affects him now and again. That looks good. Cool. Certainly gets the ball well out of the lane and, you know, gets it, drives it straight through the headers and right down and straight into the pocket. Double in the fourth and fifth for Jack Gay. Watch it again. Well out in the lanes, down she goes, turns in and wow. And that, of course, is the strike in the sixth frame. So there he is, three in a row, putting the pressure back on. Not the best now we've seen from Pang. He's been bowling very, very well and very steady for the entire week here. And you've got to remember that it's an awful long time. Bowling started last Monday and we're now at Sunday's finals. And they've been bowling eight games a day qualifying and then they come into a round robin um, yesterday morning of eight games. And it's quite demanding and it really is that the best player has got to win. And this guy is probably the best player in the field. Absolutely spare. Now that is not what Pang needs at this precise moment in time, not with Jack Gabe and a double there. And to get an open frame there, it just gives the opportunity to the opponent to get in there, particularly when he's on a double. He needs a, another strike now, and he's going to really put uh, Pang into a bit of trouble here. But I've seen this man before being in trouble, and I've seen him come out of it. We played in this event in Le Mans when he won it. And he certainly shone well there. Oh. Now, what can I say? Two bad shots in a row, really. Uh, his father there on the left-hand side, who's his coach. Let's have a this, Roger. What's the... Seems to put it out too far. It doesn't come up. This uh, seems to be a difficult pair of lanes, Bernard. I don't know whether we're, in fact, using lanes five and six in this house because it's the most convenient place for the TV cameras to set up. But I have to say that five and six have not scored very well, and especially lane five. Hmm. Oh, 
the face but uh, that still keeps them in the game and, uh, that's very important at this stage of the match as you can see on the leaderboard 122 with a spare in the seven for Nippons you know but Gay there with a triple up there now and going into his seventh frame most unusual style there of Nepomucians where he loses balance at the foul line, but never the very effective indeed. Forty years of age is uh, our man Jack, a plant supervisor from Calgary in Canada. Certainly gets it out there on the line. Wonderful strike. It certainly does. It's a good shot. That really has put the pressure on Payne. Yes, and uh, of course he gave him the opening by making that 6-3 in the 6th, and he just can't do that, as I said. Watch this lovely strike. Ball well out in the lane. Interesting how straight he keeps that right arm. Gets the ball down there, gets into the dry area, turns right into the pocket, and bingo, strike up. Incidentally, next year, Jack's hometown of Calgary hosts the uh, second World Tenpin Team Championships. Oh, well, maybe we'll see Jack in action there. Now, watch the way. You know, somebody just puts him off there at the back and there's a little bit of a... But he'll quickly get back into his stride. And watch the way he gets this right arm of his really right down and straight. Look at this. Most unusual holds the ball down there. Most of them tend to hold it up in front, but keeps the arm very straight. It's a good swing on it. Right out of the lane, and look at that. Well, what can we say? I mean, no wonder he shot two, three hundred. This is only brilliant, this man. Yes, that's uh, seven of the eight so far. That six, three in the third frame didn't help him, but look at this again. It's just like shelling peas, as we would say. Straight into the one three pocket, and bingo, another strike for the Canadian. Now, this man, Pang Nepomuceno, has a lot of work to do, but can he pull it out of the fire? Once again, Roger, he put it out again, far too far down the left side, and the ball just didn't come up for him, and that was on the other lane this time. Yes, he's sliding through a little bit. He doesn't seem to have got a shot ready to the pocket. I watched him during practice. Here it is again. The same difficulty then, and you can see sliding by, doesn't actually pick up the lane. Well, he certainly won't be pleased with that, but he has to make sure of this. If there's any remote possibility of this game, he yes, made it. That was a good score. It was. One of the interesting things with Pang is, uh, despite Jack Gay being off on a string here, it's not going to affect Pang's game. No. Um, he's a very, very cool customer. He's been in this position before. And you know, like it's in every other game, it's not over until the final ball is thrown. And this man, he will never give up. I can tell you, I've known him for a long time and he'll be there till the very end because you don't know what's going to happen. Look at the style, left-handed. He also gets it on the lane. Could have done with carrying the six-pin Yeah. He would definitely have been expecting a strike there. And I would hasten to say that, it, as he, you see the way he let a quick look at that screen. Let's have a look again. Did he get it up this time? Did it come up in time? Yes. Just a little bit too much. Very solid on spares. He really is. I was surprised to see him miss those couple of spares earlier on. But now let's look at this leaderboard. He really has a lot to do. Certainly if Jack pumps another one into this ninth frame it's going to be all over at the bar of the shouting and Jack knows that and he's concentrating very very hard indeed cool customer very cool the winner of this match of course will go forward to meet the uh, number three seed from Mexico Daniel Falcone and of course very important to get as high up the ladder as you possibly can there's that right very right straight arm as we said good swing back well down the lane came up a bit too high came up too high that's what i said a few moments ago you never know in this game of 10 pin bowling it can easily happen he could open this frame he could open the next frame look at this dived a little bit too quick at the end and there's the result now a lesson for all you 10 pin bowlers make sure of the two pins don't be an heroic there you go you see excellent that's a very situational that i've seen a hundred times before where you're trying to take out the, the three of them and probably miss all three but our friend jack make sure of the two pins because they are very very important indeed
I don't think Jack has really now too much concerns. He, he really has uh, a handle on this game. Yeah, and, and Pang pretty much knows that. Yeah. But still, he, you got to remember that uh, he has another game to play should he win this, so he must make sure that he gets the right line on this pair of lanes because he'll be playing his next game on this pair. It's a really good shot. Yes, you see, he got back at the strike line on lane five there again. So that really sews it up for Jack Gay from Canada. And I'm afraid it, uh, well, let's just watch. I'm sure Jack would love to wallop, what a strike. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We can see now how this man rolled a 300 this year and in fact a 300 last year. Oops, will it go? No, well, well. You can well. see the difference between the two players here and Bernard Ware. They're both getting it well up on the lane. They're both giving a very good lift. Jack does seem to have got a more consistent turn into the pocket. Tang has not had that consistency of turn. There we go. And the shake hands tells the story. 219 for Jack Gay. And it's only just a cleaning up formality for Pang Nepomuceno from the Philippines. He'll be disappointed, there's no doubt about that. And so will the Nepomuceno family who are here at the Planet Bowl in Sao Paulo in Brazil. And they had high hopes, obviously, as every player is, that their man would win this AMF Bowling World Cup. But it's not to be for Pang Nipomacino. He'll have to wait for another year and go through the preliminary rounds that everybody has to go through to make it through to the World Finals. It's a tough event. Bowling World Cup must be the most difficult of all match tournaments. And there it is, the leaderboard tells it, 194 to Pang Nipomacino from the Philippines, 219 for Jack Gay from Canada. He goes forward to meet Danielle Falcone, in the next match of this step ladder final. So stay with us for the first match in the ladies division which will be coming up right after this commercial break.